as long as you are doing something to express your voice in some small way every day, that is the path. So tell everybody uh, your project, and then let's talk about the, the thing that you're still kind of stuck or struggling with. So the project is to be aware, to understand, and to know myself as a teacher. And the thing that I'm stuck on, I was sitting there thinking about it, the thing that I'm stuck on is that I have a bazillion ideas about things that I can create and do and courses and trainings and la di da di da Who can relate? And so actually moving from the idea and even creating the whole curriculum and all of that to actually making it happen yeah. and doing it. So I have a cool strategy that I use and I hope it works for you. So I carry a little notebook and I actually borrowed this from Chris because when we lived in New York City he used to carry around a, a notebook like this size and whenever he had an idea he'd just jot it down then he'd stick it in his back pocket and it was just full of all kinds of stuff so I carry around a notebook and this one's new so it doesn't really have much in it as ideas come I just jot it down in that notebook and then what happens for me is I get anxiety because I'm afraid that I'm gonna forget the idea then that anxiety makes me get distracted and uh, unfocused and overwhelmed. And so I think if you were to have a little notebook on you at all times, and when those creative juices and those impulses go that you jot them down, that's gonna remove one layer of the overwhelm, okay? The next thing I would do, what are the top three things in terms of all this creative stuff that you're interested in doing? What's the top three projects that inspire you the most? Story. Really getting people's story okay. and getting into the story and understanding um, how what we've either what we've created, what we've had, what those stories are and what we can do with them to make our lives work and what is working because there's lots and lots and lots of attention on what's up. Yes. But there's so much that's working. <laughs> Yes. So I mean, even the question that you're asking us, like what happened to you? Yes. That has you break down? Yes. What happened to us that has us be in this room? I thought you were inspired, right? Yeah, that's a good thing, right? Yeah. So do you see how you light up when you talk about that? <laughs> so to me, it's very clear that your energy is about focusing on what's good and what is working, and elevation and amplification. I mean, even in the way that you dress, when I talk about shaking and the essence, the vibrancy of you. And so I think all that's missing is the right vehicle for expressing that. I want you to pick one thing that you're gonna do, whether it's writing a book or blogging every week and starting to archive all of these things and amplifying your own voice on this topic. What do you see? Hmm. Good stuff. <laughs> of course, right? Yeah. So what's the first thing that comes to mind? Well, thanks to um, somebody whose name I can't remember right now, but who I know is here, um, who I saw on their page 750 words, I started writing again. Fabulous. And so I'm writing every day and I'm on like a 21 day streak or something like that. Wow. And um, from that, um, so from that, that's how actually how um, Sacred Musings, which is a series of writings that I've, I've done, was born, was from the 750 Words Project. Wow. And so it's coming again. And it's, yeah. See, to me, you are the voice. You, the project isn't about anything or anyone else. Right. It's about your voice. Right. And so I also want you to consider that if, as long as you are doing something to express your voice in some small way every day, that is the path. And all of the other stuff, you're getting distracted by the how and the what it looks like and I want you to join me in that journey of embracing that you're actually an artist and you're a writer 
and you are somebody that's out in the world expressing your ideas in a multitude of ways.